What's up guys, it's Lane Juice Sims here with a video and today we're gonna be going over a Q&A over well not over anything, it's a random Q&A over at loxy.com so shout out to them so that's the one way I can go ahead and get this you know video started so let's just go ahead and dive right into the question so question number one if you could be born again with the same knowledge you have now what would you do differently and another way of putting it in terms this one you can give with insight into their past how they spent it and how much they've changed so with me if I could be born again with the same knowledge I have now what would I do differently probably wouldn't do anything differently much but I would focus like more on school so I would be you know like very attentive so I can attain more knowledge or whatnot so because if my education better than I feel like I would succeed in the real world I mean, I'll be more prepared is what I should say so when I go to college I won't be like a random student that doesn't know what they're doing I have to ask for help and I really don't because I really don't feel comfortable with the whole cheating aspect of things so I wouldn't cheat like I would do in school because I already have that knowledge and I've already obtained that kind of span at that time so I wouldn't think that's probably the only thing I would change was my education like how how I learned stuff in school that's what I would probably change um this is question number two what is the thing that most people think about that is actually not true Sorry, let me rephrase that. What is the thing that most think about you that is actually not true? Um, I would say I've never been asked that before, but I will say that people do think of me to be like a football player. Like, if you see, like, I'm very molded, but I'm no like football. I work out a lot, don't get me wrong, but like, as a basketball player, I step out on the floor to be like 5'11 and like. 200 and something pounds with pure muscle like they sit there and be like yo you need to be on the football field like coaches everybody in school try to get me on the football field but it's like it's not my sport like I don't feel it at all because I don't do like the whole hidden thing so which doesn't make sense to people tell, but you do contact with basketball so but it's more different than with basketball than it is with football football you go at it every play basketball you know you get within the structure you you feel within the structure of your game so because some kids don't do all the banging inside going for rebounds some kids just stand out and shoot or some kids you know pass the ball and just stand there and see what else happens so that's one thing people always thought like i would always be a football player but i just never see that as far as my athletic side so question number three if you could change the way school works what would you do get out of school early no well now right now we go to school for like what we start school at eight we start school at like 8 15 and then we get out at 3 15 so like one day one day in the school year we had like a delay we got to school at like 10 30 and we still got out of school at 3 15 no we still got to school at 3 15 but we got to school at 10 30 because the roads were ice so that day every i feel good like i had plenty of sleep because normally i don't wake up till 9 9 30 9 o'clock anyway so i was perfectly fine with that i had time to catch up on my show i watched three episodes of my favorite show that morning when i woke up so i was perfectly fine i had time to do all my work and finish everything so i could come back to school the next day so that was one of the major things that i would do would change the time but i understand like as a county as county and the board would say, like, even though if we do get out at early, if it was an everyday thing, then that means we'll have to extend school. So we wouldn't be getting out at like 315. So if we came to school at like 10, we had to be here to like what five. Cause we have to have like at least I think like eight hours of school. I wouldn't say eight. Yeah, we have to at least have like eight hours of school. So with that being said, I then the curriculum out we do everything like how advanced kids advanced kids are like they're not working within springboard like in georgia we work within springboard but like advanced kids they 
they work within Springboard not often, but most of the times they'll go out of context and out of book. So as far as like being in a regular class, all we do is just sit there in there. So then it doesn't like feel like we're learning anything, especially when you sit in you guys those classes, you know, you just sit there and you chill. I mean it's nice and everything, but when we get into the real world and you be like, I don't know what to look at this stuff. So that's what I would change the curriculum and how we treat kids differently. Like our education is equal, I would say. So with that being said, we're gonna go to question four. Yeah, so is that fine with y'all? Is there something you've done in the past you wish you could go back in time and undo it? If yes, what would it be? Shoot. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't change anything. Because I got to live in a pretty decent life right now, I would say. I mean, I'm applying for school at the moment. But, like, if I had to go back, I would go back and probably, like, Education, like I said, education wise, like focus more on my education. So, all the time, you know, you've been playing around and stuff. Oh, no, actually, I would do that, but also, I would go back. I did one thing wrong, and like, it was on the one bad thing on my, my disciplinary records. I had got into a physical altercation in the restroom. This was like elementary school, fifth grade. And then I got blamed for it, but it was in self-defense on my end. But you know how they say they always catch the first, they always catch the person who throws the second punch. So that's why I got caught in the act. So then I got suspended for like three days. I got suspended for three days. But it was like at the time my parents were mad at me. But I was trying, like at that young age, you can't like tell them that because you'd be like, you can't tell like a adult what's right and what's wrong because at the time if you're like five or six i mean they're not gonna listen to you they're gonna go by what the adult says even if you're in middle school they still gonna go by what the adult says but even though like me i'll probably like at least listen to like both sides of the story so i'll get the gist of what just happened um question number five how would you describe your ideal partner my ideal partner like oh like as if you're in a relationship all right so like if i had because like i'm very i'm not funny i'm safe but like i'm playful but not a lot so i take stuff seriously very often but most times like behind closed doors and i'm in my house i really am like a fun person so but that being said like I wouldn't be to myself. I am a to myself person, so I expect her to be a to myself person as well. And as and what I mean by that is, you know, anti-social. You know, just your circle is very very small and whatnot. So, with that being said, that's my final answer for that question. All right, question number six. If you need to spend. Five, if you need to spend five hundred dollars in eight hours, what would you do? So, if I had five hundred dollars to spend in eight hours, I would spend on food. As far as everybody else would say the same thing, we spend on food because at times we'll be hungry around the house, and then like, especially like in Georgia, I would spend on food because everybody knows the spots. Like, you go to American Deli after school, and then. But sometimes you just go out and you get pizza if you were sitting in the house like on a day of break like if you got school and you're in break and you're just sitting in your house you ordering pizza so you wouldn't feel like getting up off your butt and getting going to the store or to a food place to get some food but right now like they have like grub clubs and stuff so i'll probably pay for them to come bring me food and whatnot so most definitely if i had 500 dollars spending eight hours i would do like the, I would go shopping for food. Like, cause like now Walmart, all I gotta do is to order stuff on my phone and I come pick it up and take it home. I spend my $500 worth. So, all right, question number eight. What current trend you don't like and why? Mm, oh, it's one big thing. 
like for me and everybody would see this, but I've been saying this for a long time. I do not wear Jordans. I don't wear Jordans at all. And I'll tell you why. Because, don't get me wrong, they are good shoes, but it's like people, they boost it about, like Jordan has a brand new shoe coming out, but it's the exact same model, it's just in a different color. So the people be like, oh, I just want this shoe, I want this new shoe. But it's the same shoe in a different color. As far as like now, kids these days, like they get in pure white Air Force One, like all white Air Force Ones, and they just painting them. So that'd be the same thing as like, oh shoot, I'm gonna go get these new Air Force Ones. As far as this person, he just painted on them. But if you paint on them, you'll be like, oh shoot, it's fake. It's just not, it's being creative. So it is being creative and being cheap at the same time. But you see out here spending like a hundred, two hundred something bucks for a shoe, and all you gotta do is put paint on it. So that's what I don't like. Jordan. All right, question number eight. Name one movie or TV show that's really watched by everyone that you didn't see. Um, I would say nothing. I've seen a lot of stuff. I've seen a lot of stuff lately. Oh no, I stopped Riverdale. I've never seen Riverdale. I think I tried like one episode, two episodes. But, like, it didn't, like, catch my attention. It was nothing in there that caught my attention as far as, like, it did 7 Seconds or um, 13 Reasons Why. So, that's what I would say. Like, Riverdale never caught my attention as far as being a viewer or a watcher. So, question number nine. If you could change the way kids are parented these days, what would you do? Um... I wouldn't change anything, but I will tell you what I've seen, and this happened a lot. Like, you see kids that come around here, they'll they look like, when they're around their parents, they look like, like they're best friends, like they're in sync or whatnot. So, next thing you know, you sit there, and like, as kids, like in high school, and they have problems with their teacher, they'll be like, my mom don't never talk to me, my dad don't ever talk to me like that. Exactly, and then that's where parenting is messed up. Cause now in your child's head, you got them in the sense of like, I'm showing respect, but if my parents don't cuss at me, you don't cuss at me. All right, so we understand that. But you giving all this ammunition back at the teacher doesn't make any sense. Cause that's how, that's how it is in your household. So what she sees or what he or she sees in the household is what will reflect back in public. So that's what I would change. Like as far as the disciplinary role as a parent, like I wouldn't give my child no whooping, but I'll try. I'll probably re- reason with him. I would. I would give him a whooping every now and then, but like I would at least try to reason with him. I won't just like beat his tail and then just let him sit there and tell him to take a nap. I'm gonna do that. Um, number eleven. What makes you angry? Um, angry. Oh, like pet peeves and whatnot. So, I don't have a pet styrofoam. Actually, I do styrofoam. I don't like the sound of styrofoam being rubbed together. It's pretty annoying. Like, it's a terrible sound. So, like, if you have any styrofoam, I promise you. Like, you need to get that away in, like, the next five seconds. Because if not, something is about to go wrong. So, that being said, oh, what makes you angry? Scary movies as well. Like, I don't like scary movies. Like, if you try to get me to see a scary movie, like, that's not it. I don't do scary movies. Not even nothing scary. No, nothing even sci-fi. Don't even do it. So, 12. If you need to spend the rest of your life in one place, where would it be? The rest of your life in one place, where would it be? I'm going to be smart. Because everybody would be like, shoot, if I would spend one place. I like, I know as a child, like, I've been asked this question a lot. I always say, I would be staying in the sky zone. Because I always have fun sitting there bouncing on a trampoline. I always do that. But if we were like smart, like say... If, like, everything is getting salvaged, you know, everybody's fighting for food, everybody's fighting for, you know, gas prices and whatnot. So, I would say the one place I would spend the rest of my life would probably be in the hospital. Why? 
because it's smart. It's food there. It's medical attention if, in case you get hurt. And then there's plenty of stuff you can do within the hospital. They have like a workout space. And then some hospitals, like, you know, some hospitals actually have gyms or whatnot. So it just depends, like, what kind of hospital you go to. Because I was, it was a hospital in Florida. Like, it had like a whole full gym and whatnot. So you can do rehab on the, re, on the physical wing and whatnot. So, number 14, what is your addiction? Uh, I'm gonna say I have an addiction because I don't just make it seem like it's a more of a problem than you know a necessity. So, if it was like an addiction, I would say gummy lifesavers, like any kind of gummy lifesavers. I've really been eating those a lot. So, if it's like if you're trying to get me something for like my birthday or whatnot, like give me some gummy, give me some gummy valid got me savers and like your seal like the deal with seal so what about all right number 14 how much do you honestly know what is happening in the world outside of your own country to be honest i need to start watching the news more i do because like all the stuff in econ that we learn it does like it will tie in to how we're gonna be dealing with stuff in the real world. Cause like, as far as stuff we're learning in econ right now, I understand it, but like, out of 100%, I only understand like 30% of it. And that's why, why I would go back and focus more on my education. So like, when I get in classes like this, I already know the gist of how they work and whatnot and the whole nine. So, Number 16, what's your favorite game to play? Uh, uh, my favorite game, uh, basketball, anything basketball was. So like, even if it is like 2K NBA Live, or if it is like playing actual bas- basketball, it's my, actually my favorite sport. Cause basketball is a way to like get your mind off of things. Like it is a way to clear your head. Because, like, even if I was, like, before, if I was angry at something, I would go play out and play basketball and, like, take your anger off the floor because that's the appropriate place to do it. Not saying, like, you go out there and you start a fight or nothing, but, like, take your anger out, like, get big. Or, you know, when you get the ball, make sure everybody tries to stop you from getting to the basket. That's why you always go hard and go to get to the rack. So, if it was my favorite game to play, I would say basketball. Like, that is my favorite game to play. So, if someone gifted you a two-person vacation on a tropical island, who would you go with? I would probably go with, um, it depends. If I would go with, I would go with my best friend, Jasmine. I would. Only because, one, well, it depends. She's silly. She's silly all the time. But she does have common sense. So that's why I would take my best friend, Jasmine, at times. But if it wasn't to be her, it would probably be, like, somebody I would be dating. Because, you know, it would be appropriate. You wouldn't want to go with another female, and that's not, like, your girlfriend or your wife or not. So... If you could turn into any person or being, what would it be? Shoot. Shoot. Because I promise you, I wanted to be an NBA player. Don't get me wrong. But if I, any person, anything, what could it be? I would probably, I would probably be one of a NBA player. I wouldn't say who, but a NBA player. Because I don't, that's going into depth. But I would personally be an NBA player because it pays. You really get paid to just go out there and play basketball, but it is a job. So you're going to get, like, if you don't put in the work, you will get traded or you will, they will have you out there for free agency and whatnot. So, all right. 21. Which one would I choose? Truth or happiness? Uh... 
I would say happiness because there is truth in happiness. So that's like it's not choosing which one. That's like saying if you said truth or happiness, that's like saying you rather have the truth or you rather be happy with the lie. So I would say there is truth in happiness because the truth has to make you happy. If you're sitting there lying, then like there's nothing to be happy about. So. But if we also tell the truth, then that, that means, all right, you're being honest with yourself. So now that you think about it, I would say neither, because that is kind of complicated. But other than that, like, that's what I would say. Like, that's kind of like a double negative. You can't throw truth or happiness on top of each other. Like, I wouldn't do that myself. So... Alright, that's about it. That kind of like ends the video. So, it's me. So, I'm out.